The sun bear. The sun bear is a species in the family Ursidae occurring in the tropical forests of Southeast Asia. It is the smallest bear, standing nearly 70 centimeters at the shoulder and weighing 25 to 65 kilograms. It is stockily built, with large paws, strongly curved claws, small rounded ears and a short snout. The fur is generally jet black, but can vary from gray to red. Sun bears get their name from the characteristic orange to cream colored chest patch. Its unique morphology, inward turned front feet, flattened chest, powerful forelimbs with large claws, suggests adaptations for climbing. The most arboreal of all bears, the sun bear is an excellent climber and sunbathes or sleeps in trees 2 to 7 meters above the ground. It is mainly active during the day, though nocturnality might be more common in areas frequented by humans. Sun bears tend to remain solitary but sometimes occur in pairs. They do not seem to hibernate, possibly because food resources are available the whole year throughout the range. Being omnivores, sun bears have a broad diet including ants, bees, beetles, honey, termites and plant material such as seeds and several kinds of fruits. Vertebrates such as birds and deer are also eaten occasionally. They breed throughout the year. Individuals become sexually mature at two to four years of age. Litters comprise one or two cubs that remain with their mother for around three years. The range of the sun bear is bound by northeastern India to the north and extends south to southeast through Bangladesh, Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand and Vietnam in mainland Asia to Brunei, Indonesia and Malaysia to the south. These bears are threatened by heavy deforestation and illegal hunting for food and the wildlife trade. They are also harmed in conflicts with humans when they enter farmlands, plantations and orchards. The global population is estimated to have declined by 35% over the past three decades. The IUCN has listed this species as vulnerable. Characteristics The sun bear is the smallest of all bear species. It is stockily built, with large paws, strongly curved claws, small rounded ears and a short snout. The head and body length is between 100 and 140 centimeters, and the shoulder height is nearly 70 centimeters. Adults weigh 25 to 65 kilograms. The snout is gray, silver or orange. The fur is generally jet black, but can vary from gray to red. The hair is silky and fine, and is the shortest of all bear species, suiting their hot tropical habitat. The characteristic chest patch, typically U-shaped but sometimes circular or spot-like, varies from orange or ochre yellow to buff or cream, or even white. Some individuals may even lack the patch. Sun bears can expose the patch while standing on their hind feet as a threat display against enemies. Infants are grayish black with a pale brown or white snout and the chest patch is dirty white, the coat of older juveniles may be dark brown. The underfur is particularly thick and black in adults, while the guard hairs are lighter. Two whirls occur on the shoulders, from whence the hair radiates in all directions. A crest is seen on the sides of the neck and a whirl occurs in the center of the breast patch. The edges of the paws are tan or brown, and the soles are furless, which possibly is an adaptation for climbing trees. The claws are sickle-shaped, the front claws are long and heavy. The tail is 3 to 7 centimeters long. The sympatric Asian black bear has cream-colored chest markings of a similar shape as those of sun bears. A 2008 study discussed differences in claw markings of both bears as a means of identification. During feeding, the sun bear can extend its exceptionally long tongue by 20 to 25 centimeters to extract insects and honey. The teeth are very large, especially the canines, and the bite force is high relative to its body size for reasons not well understood. A possible explanation could be its frequent opening of tropical hardwood trees with its powerful jaws and claws in pursuit of insects, larvae, or honey. The head is large, broad and heavy in proportion to the body, but the ears are proportionately smaller, the palate is wide in proportion to the skull. The overall unique morphology of this bear, inward turned front feet, flattened chest, powerful forelimbs with large claws, indicates adaptations for extensive climbing. Thanks for watching.